Vasallo, and I'm a co-founder here at BizGifter. And uh, my name is Andrew Vasallo. We are brothers and, uh, and co-founders as well. So, so Andrew's gonna um, get into the website and sort of walk you through some of the different areas and categories that BizGifter aligns. But before we get into that, I just wanted to sort of start with a quick story um, that fits into how we got started and sort of um, what brought us to, to creating this company today. Um, so I, I actually started my career in software sales as a business development rep, and that's a very popular um, title across different software companies as sort of an entry level sales position. And basically your entire role is focused on generating new opportunities. So reaching out to companies and prospects and trying to initiate that um, basically that, that first uh, first meeting, get that, that customer or potential lead interested in your product um, and you know create that into an active opportunity and continue moving that down the, the sales cycle and do a close. Um, now the most common tactics, and I'm sure all of you get these all the time, a, a cold call and an email, um, that works some of the time, but you know you're, it's definitely not going to work a lot of the time and the majority of people really are never going to uh, answer that phone or respond to that email no matter how much time you spend customizing that message or um, you know, no matter how many times you follow up. So um, you know, fast forward six years and one of the most effective ways that I as well as uh, a lot of my colleagues and peers had with um, generating new meetings and sort of uh, creating that initial interest was a different approach, and that was around um, gifting and sending prospects and different uh, companies, rather than sending out a, an email or a, a phone call, sending them some type of unique imprinted product with your logo and spending the time to uh, really handwrite a personal note that fits in with that prospect, with that company, um, and basically it's just a new sort of unique way of reaching out that these companies aren't seeing every day like a, a phone, phone call or an email. Um, now the problem was, although it was really effective, it would take a lot of time and effort and it really wasn't, there wasn't a process in place where it could be streamlined across um, you know, reaching out to multiple people at once, or if a team wanted to reach out to say 500 people at one time, you know, there, there was no process in place to really make that effective. Um, so that's that's sort of where BizGifter came in. We're a, a bulk gifting company, so you know, one of the main areas we focus on is helping sales and marketing teams send out 10 or 100 or a thousand imprinted items at once. And we, we really focus on the personalization. So we have a team that actually handwrites the notes. We can customize your packaging. Uh, and we basically handle the entire fulfillment process for these teams. Um, now, what we found out is this isn't just a fit for you know, that initial demand generation stage, but there's sort of a fit throughout the entire uh, life cycle of a customer. So we're starting to do things with event invites, um, with demand generation campaigns, like I said. If customers are sort of uh, you know, new to the company for different onboarding processes, for gifting to existing clients, there's sort of a, a whole spectrum of, of different ways to leverage our services um, and basically make the, the gifting process more effective and, and efficient, but still give it that personal touch and feel. Yeah, so a lot of you are probably asking, how is this a technology company? Um, which we are building that capacity over time. Today we're essentially a logistics platform that helps you, like Dylan said, send uh, corporate gifts. Um, you can send hundreds of gifts at the same time. We handle all the shipping. We handle handwritten personal notes. Um, and we handle sort of that complete end-to-end -end process. So anything from lead generation and sales and marketing to sending gifts to your customers or employees uh, at the holidays, um, to bulk, uh, you know, email campaigns for 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 marketing or you know other purposes, um, and you know what we're building uh, capacity tech-wise for is integrations into various CRM systems um, and potentially um, with companies like 
XIQ, right? If you could offer, um, you know, when to send a gift to an employee, for example, or to, to a prospect, um, that could be a great integration. Uh, so over time, we're building those CRM integrations, then also building sort of a capacity on the data and analytics side, trying to help you predict um, or understand your customers or your prospects and when to send them gifts and also what gift to send them. So potentially mining some um, sources on the, you know, on the on the social side and saying, hey, this guy might be a sports fan. Let's send him, uh, you know, a basketball, uh, a stress ball that's a basketball and say, hey, can you squeeze me in for a meeting? Um, unique, sort of funny, silly ideas that will get people's attention um, and you know, building that data capacity and, and predictive analytics around what you can send to people so you can generate ideas and get ideas. Um, so that's that's kind of Bisgifter. Um, here's the squeeze me and stress ball, which you should all buy. Um, and here's some other sort of silly ideas that we have. But essentially, we can come up with any gift. So everything that's on here um, is just you know, an idea, but we can come up with, you know, we have a network of thousands of suppliers and we can come up with sort of any gift uh, with any, you know, logo. Um, and that's BizGifter. So thanks. Any questions? Yes. You talked about customization of the notes. How is that done? So we actually have a, a team that is, is handwriting the, the notes. So oh, not our employees. How, how do they know what to write? Oh, so, so the way that it works, um, like we'll work with a, uh, a client to, to figure out exactly what type of gift they want. So um, like Andrew said, you know, there's thousands of different options. We can imprint their logo on that specific gift. Uh, and then they would basically provide us a, a sheet where they can tailor each individual note to that specific recipient. So right now the, the way it works is just an Excel document where they're telling us you know, the person's name, their mailing address, and what they want that note to say. Um, so a lot of teams, they might have 20 sales reps and each sales rep picks you know, their top 10 prospects and, and they're filling out that, that note um, that we then turn into a handwritten note. So the good news with the, the personalization is, um, you know, like with, with XIQ, for example, you can find sort of targeted information to send that person to make it more relevant. It doesn't just look like a, a standard <coughs> note card or a standard note. Um, you know, it's more personalized and has that actual handwritten effect as well. Physically, somewhere you, there's a contractor writing it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yep, so each one is actually a, a handwritten note. Although there are companies that automate that process. That yeah, we, we are looking into that as well, and do um, you know, some more automated processes of, of the handwritten notes as well. <laughs> Any other questions? So I guess you, at the beginning, described the uh, motivation of creating this uh, site. And why one thing is uh, whether there's uh, some like uh, some data that support your implication that this will be much more effective. I, I think it will be much more effective. I just wonder how much more effective than uh, sending people uh, uh, like a, a plan uh, email or plan like a postcard stuff like that. You know. What I mean? Yeah. So so the question was. Um how much more effective is is this compared to yeah. emails and, and phone calls and, and um, you know other ways to outreach? Um, I mean, so the the stats really can vary on on the industry and the um, you know type of person that you're reaching out to, as well as what the campaign is. If this is first touch or you know something where you you know the client and customer a bit more, um, but for a, a cold email, um, so the stats are even like below 1% or so for, for a response, um, and that's even after multiple touches. Um, on average, and this depends on the campaign as well, but our customers are seeing response rates as high as anywhere from like 50 to 80% of getting a response on, you know, that acknowledging that it was sent and received, and then book meeting rates. Um, I mean, we've done some campaigns that have booked, you know, 50% and above in, in meetings. So. We're working on, um, you know, putting together some more statistics around that too. What happens if, like, uh, a prospect decides they don't want the gift? <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes, yeah. like, I get swag that I don't necessarily want. Throw it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's such 
something. Uh, I'm mentally conscious. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Um, we we don't really have a returns process right now. Um, so you know, because you're you're sending the gift to someone else, um, you know, I guess we could get it sent back to us. But uh, you know, I think most of these gifts are are useful or you know just desk accessories. So someone in the office will probably end up using it. But there's no, we don't have sort of a formal returns policy right now. Do you guys do your return address to like the person who wants? So if I was sending a gift to you, the return address would be my address, or would it be your business address? Because then at that point, right. like, yeah. like if I were getting this package, I'd see it like, oh, it's from like, yeah. it's not an actual gift or something. Like right. That. So yeah, we actually can change the uh, return addresses for each individual company. Right. So it looks, uh, you know, we want to give it the look and feel like it's coming directly from Just that, different handwriting. that sales yeah. rep. Yeah. <laughs> that sales rep or, uh, you know, other companies are sending these out and uh, having the handwritten note come from like the VP of sales or the CEO of the company. So, you know, there's other ways to, to do that as well. Yeah, typically in a given situation, are you sending out different, different gifts or, or is typically you're sending out a hundred of the same gift? So the question was, uh, are you sending out a hundred of the same gift, or you know, sending out multiple gifts to the, that hundred people? Um, we can do it both ways. Both ways. Usually, a company will decide on you know one gift for a certain campaign. So a lot of times, it might be like vertically focused, and they'll figure out a good gift for this area of prospects, and they'll run a campaign on that. And then for their next one, they'll pick a different gift and. You know, go that way. But it, it is possible to, to send multiple gifts as well. We just haven't seen that as much. And I think we're out of time. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.